We're going to continue where we left off here uh, on installing these programs. I did cut a couple of these out uh, just to save some time on the video to make it a two-part video instead of a three-part video. Um, so I'll just let the video run here and you can uh, watch it go through the uninstall process. And uh, once we are got everything done here, we'll come back and take a look at the next step. As you see here, this program will actually close down the uninstall program window. I'm not sure why, but a lot of these are pretty tricky. Uh, so we'll just want to go back to the start menu, uh, back to control panel, and then back to uninstall a program. Now, as you uninstall these, uh, everyone will come up with some type of you know uninstall box or some type of information. You do want to read this very carefully and uh, make sure that uh, you are clicking the right options uh, to uninstall everything completely because uh, they want to keep their spyware on your system so they're going to try to trick you any way you can any way they can um, so just be very careful and, and alert why you're doing this process Now that I've removed all the junk here, there's not a whole lot left, but you can recognize pretty much every program on there. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this uh, icon left over from one of these junk programs. Once you're pretty confident you have everything cleaned out, you can't just go ahead and close this window. Now we're going to take a look at uh, Internet Explorer just to make sure that your home page is not set to something crazy still. Uh, or that other items aren't popping up. Um, so we'll want to go back to the tools here, which will be this little gear in the top right hand corner. And uh, once we're in the tools, we want to go down to Internet Options. Uh, go ahead and left click Internet Options. Once you're in uh, Internet Options, here's your home page here, which is default uh, MSN. Uh, if it's anything else, I'd probably just go ahead and click this use default button and then click apply to reset it. And uh, once we've done that, we'll want to go ahead and look in programs and then manage add-ons. And this will show you a list of what's actually in there. Java is still in there because I haven't restarted, so it's still in there. But everything else is gone. The only other thing there is Adobe Flash, which you, you're definitely going to need to watch videos on the Internet. So you should always have that in there. Uh, anything else is probably questionable, but you, you definitely should always have a Shockwave Flash object. Uh, and you can look through the other options there. There's search providers. As you can see, it just has Bing, so if there's anything crazy in there, you might want to remove that as well. Uh, everything does look good at this point now that we've got everything out of here. So once you're confident everything looks clean, you can just go ahead and close this. 
then we'll just go ahead and close Internet Explorer and we'll move on to the next step. We'll just want to go ahead and restart the machine to finalize all the uh, cleaning out of these programs. If you come up to a window like this, you can just go ahead and click Force Restart. Uh, when you uninstall a bunch of programs like that, occasionally one can get hung up and cause an issue like this. So just hit Force Restart and it's a and then just click yes and it'll go ahead and restart the machine as you're seeing now Once the machine's restarted, we'll want to go to the next step. We'll want to pull up Internet Explorer, which you can either get through through the Start menu and then All Programs, uh, or I have a link here on my taskbar. You'll see that little blue E there. So I'll go ahead and click that. It'll pull up Internet Explorer. Still a little slower than normal after the restart, but uh, it, uh, after this first restart, it, it should come up much quicker, I would think. Now, once we have it pulled up here, we'll want to search for a program called Malwarebytes. It's a M A L W A R E B Y T E S, as you can uh, see me type in here in the screen here shortly. Uh, this is an anti malware program. It's probably the best one that I know of, anyway. And uh, so we'll just search for Malwarebytes here. You can either hit enter or you can left click on this yellow web search button. And we'll want to go ahead and click this Malwarebytes free anti-malware and internet security software link. Uh, this will take us directly to the download for Malwarebytes. Uh, it gives you the option to get to the free version or to buy premium now. We just need the free version. So just go left click on download free version. As you can see, uh, it will bring up this run, save, or cancel down at the bottom. We'll just want to go ahead and run it. I cut out the download here just to save some time so it'll come up here very shortly. It's not a very large program. It should only take a minute or two to download depending on your internet speed. And we'll basically just want to go through, just click OK and Next. Uh, this does not install any type of other programs, so you don't really have to read it very carefully. This is a good program, so you just keep clicking Next until it installs. And uh, once it comes to this completing window, uh, you can choose your options there and then just go ahead and click finish. This will pull up malware bytes, and now it's going to check for new definitions. I did cut this out. It usually takes a couple minutes. And uh, once it does do all the updates, it'll start scanning automatically. Uh, this usually takes 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how much stuff you have on your machine. I did cut that out as well. And as you can see, uh, we did uninstall everything, but it it still will leave a lot of junk in your registry and other programs behind. Just because you uninstalled or removed a program doesn't mean they're gone completely. Uh, so it did find what uh, these programs had left behind, and we're just going to go ahead and remove this. So you'll want to just click this green button here.
once it's quarantined all these malicious files it'll pull up this little window here asking you to restart so it can uh, finish the process just go ahead and click yes and it will restart your machine automatically Now that we're back in Windows, you can tell that it did load much faster than it did the very first load in the first part of the first video. Um, we did quarantine everything. I want to go ahead and just delete everything. You can select certain things you want to delete, or you can just delete all. And we're just going to go ahead and delete all. This will remove all the malicious uh, software from your computer uh, that Malwarebytes found. And then uh, once this is complete, we'll want to go to the final step here, which we'll want to go to the start menu. And then in the search box in the start menu, we'll want to type in msconfig, short for Microsoft Configuration. And once you have that typed in, you can either hit enter or you can just go up here and left click on this little link here. And this will pull up the uh, system configuration window. Uh, what we're looking for is the startup items. So this will be the fourth tab here. Once you're in the startup tab, it's going to show you a list of all the items that are loading uh, when your machine first starts up. The more items you have here, the, the slower your machine's going to start up. Uh, a couple of these are legitimate. Uh, the bottom two are not. They are left over from the malware uh, that we uninstalled. Uh, once, So you want to basically uncheck anything uh, that looks like it's junk. Um, if you do have issues you can always come back to this uh, ms config system configuration window and recheck them again if you close down something that you actually use and you you might have to hunt and peck and just kind of go through the process here but though once you got everything set you can't just click apply and then click ok it'll ask you to restart the machine and you'll want to go ahead and restart the machine one final time and this will conclude the video on how to remove spyware and junk from your computer. Uh, if you run any problems, certainly feel free to give us a call at 855 Blair TG. Again, that's 855 Blair TG. Uh, we are available Monday through Friday, uh, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I hope this video helped and uh, have yourself a great day. Thank you.